Corners here of Angel of Alchemy with Nubbins. Welcome to my non-Yu-Gi-Oh background. All of our Yu-Gi-Oh pops are downstairs. Really quickly before we get into the video, I want to say that I'm sorry if you hear any children or my neighbors or my neighbors blasting music or really just anything outside. I can't control people yet, sadly. Um, also, I'm sorry for the echo. I don't currently have any of those sound count, sound canceling foam design things for the wall yet. So I'm sorry if it's kind of echoey. But anyways, today I wanted to discuss a pretty important and yet kind of untalked about topic that kind of inflicts many people within the Yu-Gi-Oh community and that is anger and dealing with anger management issues during Yu-Gi-Oh events. So I know that if it is talked about, normally it's talked about people telling this horrific story of somebody bullying them or saying something really mean or they're telling this story to be like, oh yeah, this guy got pissed off when I dropped Ash Blossom on him or whatever, you know? And yes, those stories can be really funny and really scary However, what about the people that are suffering with anger management and it kind of ruins their day? So I wanted to talk about how to deal with your anger, whether you have anger management problems or just sometimes occasionally get frustrated with this game. And I wanted to also talk about how you can support somebody who might be dealing with anger within the Yu-Gi-Oh community. So um, before we get into it really quickly, if you want to support me or if you want to follow me on literally the only thing I have which is Instagram I have a few links down below you can check them out if you'd like but anyways back to the video so I actually story time just short story I struggled with anger management for most of my life and the management part of anger management wasn't there for a really long time and I don't know why it's called anger management when the people who have it can't manage their anger. That always confused me and to be honest made me angry. Um, but I, I took years of self-discovery, um, talking to my dad and uh, learning how to control myself in certain situations. I even took martial arts classes to, you know, get the physical part of my anger management out of the way. Um, it took years of hard work to get past it. And I know that other people, maybe their families just kind of didn't know how to handle it and immediately put them on medications, whether those medications worked or not. To this day, maybe you're off them and you don't know how to control it. I know that with this game being super overwhelming and it can be pretty advanced too, there are going to be situations where maybe you get a little frustrated, um, especially at an event. There's so many like rules and people are just mean, you know, like one of the worst things is losing to somebody in time because they shoved you into time and you were too nice to call a judge and so you get upset at yourself and at the other player. You know, it's like little things like that that could just like really get somebody super angry. And sadly, I cannot say that I have never been super angry at this game before. Um, but whether you get angry every once in a while or whether you get angry quite a bit, I wanted to talk about, obviously, how, as I said earlier, how to deal with those emotions and how to possibly help in those situations. So for me, I actually don't play too much. I um, support my boyfriend who also struggles with anger management issues. Sadly, he was one of the children that was just kind of put on medication and then never really handled it. Now he's off medication and I'm trying to help him handle it. And it gets pretty rough. But as somebody who also sometimes falls back into being just super angry over something as simple as a game, I wanted to talk about how to deal with it personally, just in case you don't have somebody there at the events with you that can be one-on-one -on -one helping you. So let's get right into them. Okay, so number one, and this is honestly the most important for you trying to 
discover how to work with your own anger to, to help you get past it. Don't play a deck that you don't like. I know it sounds really simple, but the complicated part of that is even if it's competitively viable. If it's a meta deck and you're playing it literally just to win, but you hate it, do not take it with you. And here's the reason why. Although you might win more, which might keep you happier, if you lose with a deck you don't like, you could potentially become pretty frustrated and angry. However, if you're playing a deck that you feel confident with and you enjoy, you're gonna feel more proud about your wins. And on top of that, you're also going to look at your losses with less hatred. If you like hate dinosaurs or True Draco or hated Alter Dice or whatever it was that you, you just didn't like, Sorry to the people I listed those decks off and maybe you like them. But if you don't like them, don't play them. They might be good, you might know how to play it, but if you don't like it, you're not gonna be happy. The whole point of this game is to have fun. You're not even winning money. You're winning mats. Yes, you can sell the mats for money, and I think they actually stopped doing mats. I think they just do mouse pads now. I'm not to look into that. I think that might also only be for sneak peeks. That might just be crazy. But my point is, is that you're not you're not winning anything in the end. You paid money to go out there to have fun, right? So play a deck that you enjoy. Take something that you feel comfortable with with you. I know if you have a deck that it's just one of those decks that no matter what happens, whenever you play it, you still enjoy the match. Definitely take that. Yes, you have the potential of, oh, well, my favorite deck is this and I enjoy it and it's not competitively viable. But I've seen so many people say, this is my favorite deck and they made it competitively viable. And if you enjoy the deck, why not give it your all? So most important one that I kind of rambled on about. Do not take a deck that you don't like to an event. Ease your way into staying out of issues that could be potentially frustrating by enjoying what you're playing first and foremost. So <laughs> tip number two is a little silly. Bring water. I'm serious. Bring water and bring food, okay? Hanger is a real thing, trust me. I know it happens to me all the time. And if you're dehydrated, you might be a little more irritable. But here's the important thing about water. If you are getting really upset, your body starts heating up and things like that, if you gulp down a bunch of water, it takes you a moment to think about what you're going to say. So maybe, you won't end up just spraying out a bunch of insults. Or if you do, maybe they'll sound a lot better than the first time you would say them, you know? So drink water, cool down, take a moment to think about what you might say or what you might want to do in this situation. Remember that if you go to events, you gotta be a you know, at least following the rules. And the rules say you can't punch anyone. Also, you're not supposed to curse at anyone either, technically. So tip number three is vent to friends or family, potentially. So I know that a lot of people travel to events with a group of people. Maybe next time you get angry, just walk up to them and vent about it. Don't throw anything or raise your voice too loudly, but just sit down, take a moment to sit down, breathe, and say, man, my last matchup sucked. Try your best not to curse. I think, uh, I guess tip number four now that I just thought of is set a goal for yourself. Uh, if you're going to an event and you normally sometimes get angry, even if it's just once, set the goal of I'm gonna try not to get angry. Or you can set it to be I'm gonna try not to curse. 
or it can be I'm going to try to speak friendlier to people to every single person in my matches today you know just simple little goals for you to do to try to accomplish um, because at the end of the day if you do them you feel wonderful and it helps you improve um, tip number five this one kind of relates back to venting with friends because you know obviously talking to your friends can help you a lot especially if they hype you up and so there are sometimes people that don't go with anyone, they just kind of go with themselves, and that's okay. In those situations, try to go sit by a wall somewhere, or maybe get some water in you, and then think about if you had a friend or family member in a situation that you were, what positive uplifting things would you say to them to help them feel better? Obviously, you would want to listen to what they had to say, but you would probably say some really, really nice things to cheer them up as well. The same thing can be said for if you have a family, if you have kids, um, or, you know, nephews, nieces, whatever it may be. If they were there playing at that event today and they came up to you really frustrated and they were angry because they lost, what would you say to them to help them feel better? Sometimes if you repeat those words to yourself in your head, or even just imagine a conversation of you cheering somebody else up, it can help you relieve a lot of stress. I know, because it was one of the things that I had to do to try to learn how to control my anger. So, um, those are my five tips on how you can handle it yourself. Obviously there are other tips out there and I would love to hear your tips down below in the comments if you have any. But those are a few of the simple tips that I have. Now to talk about how you can support somebody who may be having anger management issues or you see get frustrated at events a lot. So I am the girlfriend supporter so it might be different if you're supporting a friend but um, first what I do is I listen to them best thing you can do when anyone's upset or frustrated or sad is just listen to them but I make sure to try to get them to sit down first and if they don't want to sit down I try to keep them standing still because if they pace around it most of the time it just kind of provides like this energy that gets people angrier. If you notice when people, this is really rhythmic, if you notice when people pace, they normally start speaking at the same rhythm and then they get frustrated, even more so than they already were before because they start overthinking about stuff. So if you try to get them to stand or sit still, most of the time they'll just get what they have to say out of the way and listening can sometimes help. But afterwards, it's really good to give them some positive words uh, or even advice. Some of the things that I like to say um, when my friends or my boyfriend comes up to me and they're angry after a match, I tell them that um, I think that they did amazing. Something as simple that, as that can actually cheer somebody up. Because most of the time when people vent about their matches, they vent about like what they did with their cards or like what they could have done. So letting them know that they did a good job, even if somebody had the outs, can still like be encouraging. Just like letting them know, it's like, hey, at least you remembered that play. I mean, you know, or whatever. Talk them up. Say that they did good. Um, even though it's really simple. <laughs> I keep waving nubbins around like this. Another thing that I'll, I'll do um, is I'll listen to them talk about like what they want to possibly change about their deck because sometimes anger can help you improve. You can ask them about like their side choices and if they've liked them so far, what they're going to do with the, with the deck that they have or if they're going to want to change decks. Sometimes that energy can be turned into really helpful, uh, constructive, like, thinking, you know, about like, hey, I'm gonna change this, I'm gonna be better, you know? Um, I also 
Now I'm suddenly blanking on everything that I do because I don't write scripts for my videos. Um, well, I guess I should get one of them out of the way. One of the most important things that I do, and I know it sounds silly, if somebody bricked or if they got a bad hand or didn't see the cards that they needed or whatever it is, um, or even if they just lost, sometimes I'll ask to see their deck and I'll shuffle it for a while while I listen to them talk and then I'll cut it for them and ask them to draw five. And a lot of the times they'll draw the five and they'll go, see if I had that hand. And um, then I'll do it again, I'll shuffle really quickly, cut the deck, ask them to draw another five. And if we get a consistent five in a row, deck has good luck again. Ta-da, all better. And normally, surprisingly, Whenever that happens, they win the next few rounds, every single time. I'm not sure why, but it works. Um, so basically, uh, sometimes if they say a hand is really good, I'll ask them to play it out for me too, because if they're, if they're already worked up about like something, and then on top of that, they see that hand that they should have had during a match, and they play through it, that helps like, chog their memory of this is the plays I could be making and that's the plays they end up making the next match. So I think, you know, just a simple test hand session can really help, but um, I like doing the whole shuffle, magically the deck has good luck again thing. Um, I don't know if maybe you guys want to call it good luck or whatever, but uh, I think it's pretty neat if you like give good luck to your friends or uh, partners or whatever um, and they end up doing well like the next round it feels it feels so good like not just not just to you but like for them to come back and they're just like yeah I did it I mean it's like the cutest thing in the world um, so we've talked about listening we've talked about um, going through test hands with them, we talked about talking about like deck theory with them, and I mean, I gotta be honest, just being there. Literally, being there for them can help so much, um, whether that be testing the nights before with them, or listening to them blow up your phone because you can't be there in person. Uh, helping somebody and then reminding them that they they did good is important so let's say that your friend ends up yelling at people a lot or raising his voice or he calls the judge a lot or he or she because girls play this game too if they tell you about a match where they didn't do that congratulate them you know be like hey man like might have gotten frustrated but you did really well you held back and you discussed it more like civil wise ish civil wise ish I don't know what I'm saying anymore you discussed it civilly is the word I wanted to say I think just being there to support the people you care about is probably one of the most important things about this game and um, obviously there's tons of other ways to support them, such as, you know, bringing the water and snacks because other people forget them all the time. I, I bring the snacks all the time because everyone else gets hungry and I'm there with Cheetos and Doritos and chips and stuff. So anyways, I'm sorry I kind of rambled on a little bit, just a tad, and um, for any sounds you might have heard and the echoing and all that good jazz, but I really thought it was kind of important to dig into the anger that like is underlying in this community because even though it's not just at events, it's also online as well. Um, or you know, just even in casual duels against people, you know, that are your friends, sometimes you get angry at them too. I think it's really good to like talk about that and to try to like help each other and support each other and try to, you know, this game is supposed to be fun. And I don't know if I mentioned this before in one of my first takes that I did, 
Um, one of the worst things about this game is whenever you're doing pretty well and you're having a good day and somebody brings you down because they're upset. And it might not even be they're upset about something you did, it could be them getting overly angry at you because you had the outs or they had a really bad hand. It could be something as simple as that. And another really, really bad thing about this community, even though I love this community, is that there are, there are people that will sit across from others with a smile as they make fun of them, you know? And be like, oh, you played a good game and stuff like that when in actuality the person with the smile is cheating and driving them into time and questioning every single car that comes on the field and like, you know, very obviously stalling. And then they're like, oh, well, I won. I got lucky. Oh, good game. Oh, gosh. Those people. Who, you know? <laughs> but, um... I think, I think this community has a lot of potential and I think that um, something as, as simple as somebody having a bad day or somebody not necessarily knowing how to control themselves um, whenever they have a bad match, it shouldn't be a reflection on all of us as a community and it shouldn't be a reflection on somebody in particular either because you never know what somebody is struggling with. I think uh, if we're there to support each other, um, things can get better. So as I mentioned before, I obviously did not mention everything. Um, so if you would like or have any suggestions to those that possibly may be struggling with anger, um, and it's not something like, well they should just get good or whatever, please drop them down in the comments below. Really quickly, one that I just remembered and forgot before. Something else you can do is bring something that can help you relax, such as like a picture of your family or stress ball if it works for you, I guess. Um, I bring nubbins with me places, everywhere. So it doesn't, no one can make fun of me because they're so used to seeing me with him. Um, you can bring a sketch pad if you draw, you can um, play a game on your phone, like one of those little growing plant games, anything that can help you calm down and relax for a little bit um, could be of uh, help, obviously. But like I said, this video has dragged out long enough. Um, sorry, I'm a nervous wreck. It's been, like I said, it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera. If you'd like to support me, links down below, and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!